lessons, social norms, and values residing in it with a strong tie of unity with the feelings of oneness in them. Our nation is the best example of unity in diversity in the world. One day, one of my friends asked me to explain about Nepal. I told her that Nepal is like a diamond which is far more valuable than a huge rocky mountain, adding further than a giant figured elephant is controlled by a tiny man. Therefore, the size of Nepal does not matter, but its valuable aspects do. So we can probably say that Nepal is a garland of different several flowers. It is a very beautiful country. It is situated on the lap of the Himalayas, which is the highest peak in the world. Mount Everest lies welcoming every citizen of the world. We all know that it is a landlocked country and lies between India and China. It is the country of Lord Buddha. It is the birthplace of Goddess Janaki and the homeland of brave Gorkhalis. The beautiful snow-capped mountains in the north, green hills in the middle, low plain and fertile land in the south, called the right, and the rich cultures, traditions, art, civilizations, and simplicity of the Nepalese people are the core reason why every country people want to visit Nepal at least once in their life. The capital city of Nepal is Kathmandu. Cow is my national animal. Lofo forest is my national bird. Rhododendron is my national flower. And prince and red is my national color. My country is very popular for one rhino and red panda. My country is decorated with natural beauty like mountains, rivers, forests, and many more. If there is no Nepal, that means no Nepal. I feel proud. I feel proud myself being in Nepal. My country is great. I will be a lucky person if I get opportunity to serve my nation. I have a dream. I have a dream to make my country prosperous. I love my country so much. Saying this much, I would like to conclude my speech. Thank you for listening to me, everyone. Have a nice day to you all. Your country can do for you. Ask what you can do for your country, John F. Kennedy. Hello, Namaste, everyone. I'm Kabe Adam. I'm a student of the School of the Scholars. I study in classroom. Respected chairperson of this program, chief guest, guest, principal sir, parents, teachers, and my loving brothers and sisters, I'm going to deliver a short and sweet speech in front of you all. The topic of my speech is my country, my pride. People without any particular nation are not called the citizens at all. Rather, they are called landless people or refugees. Ask the refugees what they want in life. They will simply answer you. We want to become permanent citizens of a nation. Mother and motherland are greater than heaven. Nepal is my mother and Nepal is my heart. And I cannot live without my mother and without my heart and neither can anyone in the world. If I will be in a foreign country and someone asks me, where are you from? At that time, I don't say I'm from Nepal. I say I'm from that country where Lord Buddha was born. I say I'm from that country where God is Janaki was born.